Alrighty, boys and girls, we're back from our Whispering Willows Chapter 4. We're just, you know, gonna continue. We're gonna do this night puzzle thingy. Whoops, I want to adjust the weapon apparently. Uh. Do I know how? Like the telescope? I don't know. Oh, I have no idea how I want this adjusted. I have no idea if I even know how I want it adjusted. We'll start another stare down. Oh no, this was the stare down. Okay, so... Maybe it has something to do with the night upstairs. That was also a locked door, right? Um, should I be having something I don't have? I don't think so. See, I don't have all those small keys anymore, which is cool. Wait, maybe he's supposed to have it like that? Hmm. Mm. Locked. I don't see any ghosts doors, or whatever I should call it. Uh, okay. So, something should totally happen here. Um. With this thing here. I'll just do like this. And we'll hope some of these angles will be the correct one. Probably have to get out of the puzzle to know if it's right or wrong. Whoops! There we go. Yeah. Okay. So it was, it was like uh, like the build, like the painting here. It was kind of like the painting there. Awesome. Here's another one. Oh, there we have, um, like this painting, I guess. Um, let's see here, wait, not like that, maybe you want it upside down, like that painting. No! I'm presuming that is a um, clue. You can also, you know, um, uh, obviously brute forcing this. Whoopsie daisy. It feels like the painting should uh, have the clue. Looks like it should be upside down, but nothing happened. Yep, this is totally fun listening to me clicking my space button. I know. You can probably hear it pretty well. No. Whoops, there we go. So yeah, it was, uh... It, it has to do with the painting there. Whoa. Here's this weapon. The ma This mace is so heavy, how did anyone manage to swing it? Good question. Um, yeah. Let's see here now. Okay, night nighty bitey nighty bitey please open the door. Let's see, like he is holding his rifle. Something like that. 
Ha ha! Totally got it. Okay, here we go. Note. This is Willow's- Oh, I- This is 1313. Okay. The time has come. I have prepared my estate to survive when I am gone, and so it shall. For generations to come, all locals will know my name. I am the founder of this town, and I am not done with it yet. Immortality is within my grasp. I have simply to reach out and take it. After that, time will mean nothing to me as I continue to search within the ether for a way to see my Martha. In the end, I shall get what I desire. I always do. All I need now is a suitable host. In my youth, I aimed to wipe out the Quantaco, but I am happy to say I failed in my endeavors. One day, a descendant of that foolish shaman shall happen upon these grounds. When that day comes, I will know my salvation. I shall be the spider and he the fly. I'll wring from him the power and his blood and absorb what I will. My time will come to enough. I'm beyond the laws of this mortal coil, and neither man nor woman will stop me. Good thing I'm a girl, then! And not a woman. Ha ha! So I'm presuming that we ha I have missed John Alcorn 6 9. Uh, hopefully, we read that before, but I'm not sure. Anyways, uh. Statue of Worth on Willows? If I was a witch, I'd have a statue of me in my house, too. You unlock the door. Oh, we're here. Oh, we're here. Okay, I know where we are. This is the locked door. If we go up here, uh, we will... Um, you see where we are? Okay, so we should have all the notes by now. Uh, hopefully I got them first time around I played and read them. Okay, now here we go. The other side. This is it. Wortham and my dad are on the other side of this door. I can feel it, but I'm done being scared. Now's the time for strength. My dad needs me and I'm not gonna let him down this time. I don't care what I have to go through. He's my father and I won't let anyone take him away from me, no matter what. Wortham, I'm ho I hope you're as ready for me as I am for you. And this is where the game put me. The save point put me in chapter 4. I was like, I missed a part of the game. Yeah. Alright, we'll go through. <gasps> Dad! You made it back without your amulet, even. But you're too late. You cannot stop me. I don't care what you say. I'll say my dad no matter what. Foolish child, I shall feed you a taste of my misery. See the past and know my pain. I'm clicking space. <gasps> you don't understand. She meant everything to me. She was the mother of my son, my life's love. And you, you just remind me of her and how I betray her every moment we're together. Please, Wertha, please! I love you! Don't do this! Fleur de vie! Fleur de vie! I can't do it anymore! I won't! I won't disgrace her any longer! Now they're gonna say everything again. You don't understand, you meant everything to me. You just remind me. But Wortham, I love you. I can't do it anymore. Well, and now we can move. So we want to possess. Oh, we want to do this apparently. Close. Please, Wortham, I, I must tell you something. I am a child. It's yours, Wortham. We are to have a family together. What? No! No, this can't be! She was pregnant? No! What have I done? Martha only ever wanted my happiness. We could have had that. What have I done? It doesn't matter. 
I was doomed from the start. See more of my life's horror. Okie dokie, dude. Well, look at your life. I thank you kindly for having me over for drinks, Wortham. We haven't socialized in ages. High time, I'd say. But of course, old friend. It was indeed. It has indeed been too long, and you've been dearly missed. I have watched your troubles grow. Aye, that they have, and I missed you too, Wortham. We will have to meet more regularly here and out. Here and out. You certainly will, Darby. One final drink to ease your pain? You're the best friend a man could ask for, Wortham. Now we're seeing this again because now we can uh, change a detail so that Wortham will see what would have happened if he hadn't killed, basically. So uh, we've read this, so I'm just gonna click through it. Da -da -da -da, they have. Certainly will. Oh, you're the best man, uh, man, best friend a man can ask for. And if we try to go this way, there's like a wall, so. So that's the table. Uh, up down to shake the table. He's angry. For God's sake, Darby, you drunk, chosen class man. Just look at you, the state you're in. I've observed observed your degradation these past months with distaste. You're right, my, my friend. You always are. You've been so good to me, and here I disgrace myself. I know well enough the bird and I am. Pardon, eh? <laughs> Fine word that. If I'd known you'd turn out this way, I know not what to think anymore. I know I haven't been myself lately. I had it planned to take me life this evening while you slept. Your invitation worth them. It, it gave me hope, you see. I not told you with them, but that wee girl I killed, she haunts me. It was just dreams starting out, but any more I see her and awaken hours. It's then I feel the hellfire licking at me haunches. My cooking skin reeks of brimstone, friend. I can hear perdition as it sings to me in the night. Why? Why did I do this, those things? He didn't have to die, my poor Darby. When did I fall so far from grace? You're the damned shaman who tricked me with his vile necromancy. Your ancestor! Know what your kind has done to me! Oops. Is what you say true? You can help me to see my wife again? Yes, but your spirit must first be scoured. Are you prepared for this? Yes, yes, I'm ready. Tell me what to do, medicine man. You must sever your earthly ties. You must let go of your wife's memory. Only then will you be able to see her again. These candles will protect us from the darkness. <gasps> Ghosts! Wortham was, was touched by the evil from the other side. Evil from the other side. That might be what corrupted him. And now he just kills. Whenever he's angry, he kills before thinking. All right, so we are gonna change something so we can see what would have been, what could have been. Just say true. 
Yes. Yes, I'm ready. Separate your blah blah candles. Okay, candles is green, right? So that's important. I don't know if you saw that, but it snuffed out the candle. to move Elena. Up. Now she's a lot, um, this evil spirit is not very fast, but we ha I think we have to light the cows before she makes it to one of them. Yeah, she stopped. And now it's blue again! Yay! Wortham. I'm here, Wortham. Martha Willows. Martha! Oh, I've missed you, my love. Life is too hard without you. How can I continue on? I will be here for you always, Wortham. Now that you know how, you can see me whenever life seems too difficult for you. Live your life right and raise our son well. Goodbye for now, my love. I love you, Martha. Now and forever. You have helped me see things more clearly, Elena, to see the error of my ways. I only hope it is not too late for me. I shall finally see what the afterlife holds. Goodbye, Elena. <gasps> Wortham found peace and moved on! Bye, Wortham. May your soul rest in peace. Elena? You're awake! Yeah, what, what's happened? What are you doing here? It's a long story, Dad. But don't worry, I'll tell you all about it on the way home. See? I told you, the pictures were people who made the game. That was the entire Whispering Willows game. And this is uh, credits to all the awesome people who made, helped make this game. And, you know, fix bugs and all that good stuff you have to do when you make a game. Cats and dead people everywhere. So this was... What am I gonna say? I totally forgot what I was gonna say now. It was a lot of fun playing this game. Now I've played it like four times or something. But, um, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, there's cool puzzles. And, hey, I was the one voicing everyone. Let's see. And, um, yeah, just cool puzzles. Not like. It could be difficult, but not like uh, impossible. Which is awesome. And, yeah, it was, it was nice. Creepy and fun. And I hope you guys had a good, great, good, great, you know, nice, whatever. That you like the game, okay? Like the game. It's good. Please. And thank you all so much for watching and sharing Whispering Willows with me. There's gonna be some Kickstarter people here at the end, too. I'm not there because, uh, yeah, I didn't pay enough to be in the credits. But I think there's some other Kickstarter games I might be in. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Oh, special thanks to Oya. Yeah, so this game is, uh, PC. There's a Mac version. For those of you who have that. I don't know if there's a Linux version. I'm not sure. 
Uh, there's, uh, you can also get it for the Oya console. I think that's where it is, on the computer and on Oya. And it's definitely on PC and Mac. Uh, I don't know about uh, Linux, but yeah. And the entire game is out, at least for backers. They're gonna release it on Steam, but not this very moment. I think they're gonna wait a bit with that so that they get everything correct and stuff like that. But yeah, it's gonna be on Steam too, so you can buy it on Steam later if you want to, or, well, right now through PayPal, from them, if you're interested in the game. Uh, anyways, I'm just talking <laughs> to talk, <laughs> to talk. All right, here we are, and I hope we read all the notes. I think I might have gotten them all in the real playthrough, I'm not sure, but yeah, I might have skipped some of those notes. Anyways, again, thank you all so much for watching and sharing Whispering Willows with me. It's been so much fun to play and to share with you guys, and yeah, I'm just happy I found this on Kickstarter and could back it and play it. People who made this made an awesome job. Nightlight Interactive made an awesome job for this game, so it's a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys another time, hopefully, for lots of other cool games, so take care. Bye-bye.